multi-streaming is the new big buzzword of the week it seems but it's not really new news i don't think multi-streaming has been this thing that has been alluded to for a while now there's been some big leaps forward this week which is what this video is about but to understand how we've got to where we are you kind of need to look at where we've come from so let's get right into that i've been streaming since april 11th 2022 that's the first time i streamed anywhere and as you can see right here I used Restream, help you multi-stream and reach your desk audience wherever they are. Um, and they were, for a long time, the only competitor in the multi-streaming market. They, that, they were it, they were the only people. And that's who I used when I first started out all the way back in April 2022, because I wanted to stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, which makes me, people were streaming to multiple places before me. But it was definitely before you heard of many people doing it. The only reason I knew about it was because Horizontal, my friend and co-host over at Cutscene Convos, used to restream as well years and years ago when it was even more complicated. But it's become more and more popular now, and that led to a number of things. First and foremost, the big moving stone was in September 2022. So coming up on two years ago now, when Ninja announced that he wouldn't be signing a new contract with a particular platform, and he would instead be moving on to a multi-platform experiment. And there, this was big news. As this article from .esports says, Ninja was the most powerful content creator in the world, it, all the way back in 2018, set numbers that are only just being beat, and insane what Ninja did for the streaming space. And after Microsoft went, uh, not Microsoft went bust, Mixer went bust with Microsoft as their uh, daddy, he kind of was in a bit of a weird spot for a while. And he didn't really want to make a decision on a particular platform. He didn't feel any platform was making enough money or offering enough money for him, it seemed, as well as wanting to still be a groundbreaker. So he started streaming to multiple platforms. Um, this caused a bit of a stir because it meant he had to give up his partner status on Twitch because at the time partners on Twitch were not allowed to multi-stream. But this made it a lot more popular for people multi-streaming. Things then got kicked up another notch when Twitch updated their TOS, which said no one was allowed to multi-stream. Just like that. You couldn't stream on multiple Twitch-like platforms. And what that meant was they were okay with you streaming vertically on like a TikTok or an Instagram, but they did not want you streaming on Kick or YouTube at the same time. Their rules allowed you to stream separately, so you could do... 12 till 3 on Twitch and then do 3 till 6 on YouTube, but you couldn't do 12 till 6 on both platforms at the same time. And this kicked up a fuss when they announced this back in July, or sorry, June last year. This was big news. Everyone felt like it was the wrong direction. And it was met with a fair bit of backlash during a time where Twitch seemed to not be able to do anything right at all. Then, as a result of the backlash in 2023 October, so only four months later, three months later, they decided to revert their decision and they started allowing multi-streaming to other platforms, which meant if you were able to and you wanted to, there was nothing stopping you streaming to YouTube and Kick and Twitch and TikTok shorts and, and YouTube shorts and this, that. And anywhere that take your data, they, they said, go ahead, you can stream to your heart's content. We're not going to stop you, which was a big deal. And it was also a big deal when it came to kind of exclusivity contracts everyone thought it would kick off a new wave of exclusivity contracts but it doesn't seem to have so as i was saying earlier when i was multi-streaming previously i used restream by far the biggest and easiest to use product for a long long time that works very simply you you connect your accounts that you might want to stream to you toggle them on they can they can send to over 30 platforms they have 8 million users very very big the big problem is they're a paid product and what that means is there is a barrier to entrance which is monetary which is always a big problem for a practice becoming commonplace and it was a big reason that i decided to stop um their software and the way it works you have to pay to get rid of a watermark you have to pay to not have them um alter your description on your youtube which is why restream was in my description because it had to be in there 
yada 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 and you're limited to only being able to stream to two places at a time on the free plan which also has a watermark and everything like that as well as you're sending the data to them and they're redistributing it not you sending it directly to youtube and twitch at the same time and these prices are not cheap as you can see here free forever zero dollar plan you can stream to two places at the same time for for no cost whatsoever then the the jump up is insane the standard 16 dollars a month three features plus three channels so an extra channel and you can remove the watermark that is insane that would mean across if, you, if you're just trying to make it as a content creator, which is why multi-streaming is actually quite beneficial for smaller creators, you're having to pay out of pocket $16 a month if you wanted to stream on Kick, YouTube and Twitch at the same time to make sure you have as much visibility as possible. That's insane. And then on top of that, if you wanted to go further, five channels for whatever reason and at 1080p full HD, $40 a month. That is insanity. That's about... I want to say £32 a month, around about that, which is, what, 300, 360 quid a year and four, nearly $500 a year? Unheard of for not that much. And again, some of their features were incredibly lacklustre. And then business, which is absolutely just a business, eight channels, three team seats, priority sport, website player. I'd say most content creators would be kind of feeling like they need this standard plan. $16 a month if you're not making any money potentially, or you're making only a very little bit of amount of money, that doesn't make any sense. So where does that leave us? For the longest time, Restream were the only option, or the only good option at least, until atom came into the game atom are a company that do have a, a, a suite of products some free some paid but i first became aware of them when harris heller and then partnered up to create this plugin for obs vertical and what that did was it gave you a vertical canvas that you could edit as a separate canvas from your main canvas and it allowed you to use it with their own scenes their own clipping and their own streaming functionality which made it much easier to edit clips because instead of having to take your full width screen grab your face cam out of it grab your gameplay out of it layer it on together cut what you need and export it it's pre-edited almost your face cam sits at the top your gameplay sits underneath if you've seen any of my shorts that's exactly how they look this is what i use I've got it set to a minute 30 every time I hit the clip button. I go in, something happens, I clip it. I go back to the clip that's saved separately. I cut out the fluff around the edge and then it's uploaded and it's ready to go. It is one of the best plugins ever. And on top, as part of that plugin, they have the ability to go live. So some of you who are not new to the channel may know that I stream on YouTube and I also stream vertically on YouTube. That is because of the vertical plugin. I, I simply go live in the YouTube shorts as a live stream um, using the vertical plugin it's no extra effort for me it's right there it's running already for my clips it's already set up for my clips now it's a live stream as well this was one of the best plugins i've ever seen it's so useful it's so helpful i love it i use it literally every stream it's what makes me being able to put out a short and a TikTok every single day, as well as feature length videos a week and streaming twice a week while this is a hobby and not my full time job possible. Without this, it would not be possible. But Connor, I hear you cry. What does that have to do with multi streaming? It's not really the same thing. Yes and no. It allowed me to multi stream, but as previously in two separate formats, but vertical had this ability to allow you to stream to multiple places vertically at the same time, including Instagram and YouTube shorts. What they've now done is turn that functionality into its own separate plugin called Multistream. And what this allows you to do is create multiple streams for your main canvas so that it's no extra work. And then you can give it your stream key and you can go live to them completely at the same time in OBS without having to worry about restream completely natively as well. This is hugely beneficial. I have already used it to go live on Twitch, 
uh, there was some tweaking around obviously needed because of the extra internet bandwidth being used i was pushing more data than i needed to to youtube previously so i've had to scale that back slightly to allow the extra bandwidth on the twitch side but if you've got really good internet there's nothing stopping you throwing up a boatload of streams so with this and as you can see they've got their vertical canvases as well if you want to go live on twitch youtube kick youtube vertical TikTok, Instagram, all at the same time, you've now got one plugin that allows you to manage all of that built in directly to OBS, no additional cost, no limit on channels. It's just what your hardware and your software and your internet can handle. This is phenomenal and they couldn't have made it simpler. It works so well, really easy install. It's as simple as going, I want to add a new canvas uh, sorry, a new output. You get your stream key from that website. You put it in there. You name it so that they know where they're sending the information, also that you can manage where you're sending the information to, and away you go. What's not to love? What is not to love? It is phenomenal. Shout out to the guys at Atom and Harris Heller for this. It is so so good. The only thing it doesn't have yet is a built-in chat functionality. So your chats are still completely separate and there's no way to have them all in one. Or is there? When Atom tweeted out about their new multi-stream plugin, a lot of people noticed that there was not a built-in chat functionality to go alongside it. So this gentleman, Colin Horn, quote retweeted and said, also going to throw this out there for the time being, use the stream chat tool to monitor all your chats off your stream at the same time with a link included. That link will also be down in the description as well as his video on how to use it. But this is a brilliant website that allows you to monitor all of your chats. And this is that website. It looks a little bit weird now because I'm not live, but it's very simple. What it does is you connect each of your, your, your stream links into this website. And what it does is it grabs each of your chats and it puts them all in this one web page for you. You can have this over to the side. All your chats are alongside each other. You can see them all very easily and interact with all of them very easily. So if you're streaming to lots and lots of platforms and really pushing this plug into its limit, this is probably the thing for you. You. If you've got your YouTube stream, your YouTube short stream, your kick stream, your TikTok stream, your Twitch stream, wherever else, I believe it supports even more places. I'm not sure though. This is exactly how you can do that with no issue. It's a brilliant, brilliant website. If you are going to make the most of this plugin and be streaming to this many places, I strongly suggest at least checking it out. Um, and like I said, the link will be down below. That is the big news around multi-streaming and the direction it's heading at the speed of light almost. I thought this was going to happen a lot sooner. Um, but nothing seemed to happen. I was like, oh, maybe people just aren't as interested in multi-streaming as I thought they were. But in reality, it just took the geniuses over at Atom finally giving us a plugin to really get people chattering about it again. Um, and with that slight announcement, I will be back streaming on Twitch for the first time consistently in two years, over two years. I now stream on Tuesdays and Wednesdays mainly occasional streams on other days but they're the two days that i really try and stick to from 8 p.m till 11 ish p.m every tuesday every tuesday and wednesday on twitch.tv forward slash connor night it's crazy to be back i'm so excited i'm hoping my internet's going to be stable enough to let me continue to stream vertically on youtube as well but if not i'd much rather be on multiple platforms rather than two places on the same platform but if you are interested in this news at all, please go ahead and like the video. It means a boatload and all the relevant links to the plugin and Colin Horn's website will be down in the description so you can go and find them and make all the most of them. Happy streaming.